uh, since you've been in this industry for a long time and your your prior job was innovation in the chemical yeah. industry how does a aduras technology compare to what is out there already the beauty of 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 the aduro technology is that it can eat a great variety of plastics and, and people may not even notice but among all the plastic bags and plastic articles that we use and then throw away they are made from a great variety of products that are all optimized for a certain functionality and that is great uh, the average plastic product is a, mi a miracle of engineering and, and designing the properties but of course it makes life complicated uh, when you uh, you get out of that because then if you have the mixture of all of that <laughs> you have to either completely unravel it which is impossible or you have to find technologies that can eat it all or at least as much as you can and you cannot sort everything to the last gram the second thing is that in the Aduro process, you do actually a couple of things in one go that in other process routes have to be done in multiple steps, each requiring additional capex, more operation, more raw materials. So by that, you design a very short route from essentially that mixture of waste in one step to a valuable commodity at the end of the day. And that is really where the difference is. And it is also a variety of the pretreatments that can be shortened, but overall that makes it possible. Because in the end of the day, you're talking waste. You don't want to waste a lot of money on that in order to uh, to get to something good. The first time I introduced Aduro to myself and to yeah. others, the first thing is, this is too good to be true. I'm sure you went through the same thing yourself. Absolutely, yes. And yeah, so and, when and, and, you're it with my feet in the end of the day yeah <laughs> so, yeah uh so i guess if you went through the same thing and i went through the same thing wh what was your journey like that made you go from this is too good to be true to man this works yeah well very simple uh, results and, and and for instance one thing we do with customers is that we let them send a mixture of plastic waste that they care to have processed and sometimes we are actually working with a waste company and they say well yeah we'll put it in the pot and we watch what is coming out and then it is too good to be true as you say that is what you see it, it is it is an amazing result and i'm quite honest about that i'm still uh, pleasantly surprised every day and I'm sure when you are approaching various companies with this solution, they go through the same thing. This is too good to be true. I don't believe this is this can work, right? Yes. To the underlying fundamental chemistry, it works. It's undeniably there. So it started off with the batch system. Now it's R2 continuous system. Uh, now, as it gets bigger and bigger, uh, is there any risk that this would not work the same way? I could not really think about it. Yeah, of course, we will further develop the system. Um, we will optimize it. We will make it better. But we have actually demonstrated that whether you run it in batch or continuous, the underlying chemistry and the underlying conversions, they are the same. The things that are sometimes different when you change reactors is how it is heated, how it is agitated, uh, how you do certain uh, uh, provision of ingredients and the supply to a reactor. But that is all not fundamental. The underlying reactions work. Then it is a matter of good engineering to turn it into a process. And then, well, having been in the chemical industry, that industry is much older than I am. Eh? It has been working for 100 years now on optimizing all the processes that you can watch when you drive by a big refinery or petrochemical complex. Of course, it will be better over time. Yeah, but it is never so that something that worked yesterday now suddenly stopped working. And your previous, your previous job before you joined okay. Aduro, you saw a lot of different technologies yeah uh, is there anything even close to what aduro has no and that is why i joined and i i, I jokingly used uh, the comparison I, I have been looking at more than 50 startup companies 
in all sorts of exciting new chemical technology. And uh, I have seen three that did something absolutely unique. Um, in, in, in waste plastic processing, in biomass conversion, in, in electrical heating technologies, uh, all those hot topics today, uh, there's a lot of me too's or a lot of variations. And uh, there's a lot of improvements on things that have been in industry for, for decades. But the Aduro process is absolutely second to none. Uh, alongside with these other two, which are not relevant today. Uh, but that is the excitement of being able to to actually look at those and see what they all can do. I'm going to refer to Aduro as, you know, we, because yeah. I'm part of the story. I'm a shareholder. Yes, I'm an, own, I'm an <laughs> yeah, owner. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so let me say this. Correct me if I'm wrong. We are the best in the world at solving this problem. We, we have the best technology and we are a small team, but the team is extremely competent and has what it takes.